If you're familiar with the function for creating text boxes in Microsoft Word, you will have a very easy time learning how to work with text boxes in Microsoft PowerPoint since the different design options are essentially the same. Microsoft PowerPoint actually has two different kinds of text boxes. First, when you go to insert a new slide, you'll see several of the layout options include placeholders. This is a box where you can enter text or insert a shape, graph, or media file. To enter text in a placeholder box, just place your cursor inside the box and start to type your text. The default is usually a bulleted list, but you can always just hit the backspace key to delete the bullet and type in regular text. The other kind of text boxes are the ones that you insert into a file, for example on a blank slide. So if I wanted to create a text box for this slide, I would just go up to the Insert tab and click the option for Text Box. I can place my cursor wherever I want to draw the box, hold down the mouse button, and draw the size that I want. When I release the mouse, the box will be there in the slide. Now you'll note that the box will be as wide as you specified, but it will automatically shrink to fit just one line of text until you type more. As you continue to type, the text box will expand. So again, to enter the text, just click on the box and start typing. You can also change the font style, color, and size by selecting your text, or in this case the whole box to change all of the text, clicking on the Home tab, and adjusting the options in the font group. You can also change the line and character spacing for the text within your box. Let me click over to another slide and use an example I've already prepared. Here I've got a lot of text that's grouped together pretty tightly, which makes it difficult to read. So if I want to spread out the line spacing, I can just highlight the text and in the Home tab open the menu for the paragraph options. In the dialog box that pops up, I can choose whether to align my text flush left, centered, flush right, justified, or distributed. I'm going to leave this flush left for now. Then below, I can choose to indent the text, or perhaps just the first line, add a space before or after each paragraph, and adjust the line spacing for each paragraph. I'm going to add a six-point space after each paragraph, and I'll also adjust the line spacing to one and a half lines. And when I click OK, you can see how those changes take effect. Finally, you can also make design changes to any text box. You'll notice that whenever you click to highlight the box or the text inside, a new section appears in the top navigation for drawing tools. So when you're in this section, you can use the options in the Drawing group under the Home tab to work with the text box as if it were a shape. For example, if you select the Quick Styles button, you can change the whole look of your text box by adding a fill color and outline style using one of the built-in templates in the menu. Or you can work with each of the design elements separately using the other buttons for Shape Fill, Shape Outline, and Shape Effects here in the same group. You can also access similar options by clicking on the Format tab in the top navigation within the Drawing Tools and working with the different shape styles and word art styles. Dressing up your text boxes can help draw viewers' attention to important information within your presentation and also give your PowerPoint presentation more visual interest by using more engaging fonts and colors.